Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and can you believe it's only six more sleeps till Christmas? My kids are so excited, I'm so excited, I love Christmas and to celebrate I'm participating in the biggest collaboration I have ever been part of with King Community which that is like a network of cool channels that are on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to make for you 27, yes 27 different Christmas cookies. So I'm going to show you how to make these cool spiral cookies with sprinkles on the outside and a few variations on that and then there are 26 other cooking channels on YouTube that are all part of Kim Community that are going to show you how to make something as well and they're all going to be in one big playlist and I'll link to that at the end of this video but at the beginning I just wanted to show you a few of them so you know what everyone else is baking. We've got this one here by Gemma Stafford and this one by Cook With April and this one by Cake Style TV and as I said there are many many more in the playlist so I'll link to that at the end and in the description below but now let's get started making these spiral cookies with sprinkles on. To make these you'll need butter or margarine, plain all-purpose flour, eggs, sugar, vanilla and red food colouring. Add the sugar to the butter and then the vanilla extract in there as well. Then mix that together until it is combined. Now you can use an electric mixer if you prefer here, but you don't need to. You can just use your muscles and do it by hand. Then add in your eggs and stir those through until your mixture is smooth. And then tip all of that into the flour. You can tip the flour into it. I just had the flour in a bigger bowl, so I did it that way. Either way, it doesn't matter. And then start to stir those together. And at first it's going to seem like there's too much flour, but it's okay. Just keep on mixing it and it will come together. Keep going until it's nearly all combined. And then just tip it out onto your bench and use your hands to gently knead it and squeeze it until it forms a good ball. Then cut that in half and flatten out one side and add some red colour to it. I'm using gel colour because it's a bit thicker and not as watery as your liquid colour. Then I like to spread it out using a knife and cut it and mix it in a bit first. Kind of looks like I'm killing it but it helps not get so much red colouring on your hands if you do this first. Now knead that colour through until you have a nice even colour all the way through your dough and no streaks of white. Cut the white dough in half and place it on some non-stick baking paper on the bench and put two things of the same height on either side. You could use chopsticks here or two rulers and put some more baking paper over the top and then just use a rolling pin to flatten it out and spread it out into an even layer that's all the same height. And we want to make it into a rectangle. So if it's rounded at the ends like mine is, then just cut it off and then add those extra bits to the corners and re-roll it. Now do exactly the same thing with half of the red dough and check the size of the rectangle that you're making and try and get it very similar to the size of the white one. It doesn't have to be exact, but the closer the better. Slide that baking paper onto something flat. I'm using a chopping board and then pull the paper under the board and position the end of the red so that it's nearly at the edge of the white. Just leave a bit of a, a line of white dough visible there and then carefully pull the baking paper under the board. So pulling it up and under the board, moving the board back as you go so that that red dough is just sliding off and sitting on top of the white. Trim your edges to make it neat on those three sides and then starting at the other end, lift up the paper and use it to pull up and roll the dough over. Gently press down as you go so you don't have a big gap in the middle of your circle on your roll. Then place that onto a tray and put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to firm up. With the rest of your dough that you've got left, you can do exactly the same thing or if you want something different, then roll both of them to the same sized cylinders and place those two cylinders in the freezer as well. Now that your dough is chilled, spread out some hundreds and thousands next to it and roll it through pressing lightly until you get a good coating all over it. Now just slice off pieces about one centimetre thick to reveal a beautiful spiral pattern on the inside. Use your fingers just to round them up a bit if they've got a bit squashed while you were cutting them and place them onto a lined baking tray. Bake them in the oven for around 10 to 12 minutes and then that smell of baked cookies will waft through the kitchen and then pull them out of the oven and just let them cool. 
With your other dough, cut one of the cylinders in half and then cut it into quarters and then cut each quarter in half again. Repeat that with your red dough. Then put together a new cylinder, alternating the red and the white pieces all the way around until you've joined eight pieces together. And then just give it a gentle squeeze and roll just to join it all together tightly. And repeat that with the rest of the bits that you've got left. So you should be able to roll two cylinders. And you can roll that in sprinkles too if you like, or just slice it as is. And you'll end up with this neat little pattern inside your cookies. Place them onto a baking tray and bake them for 10 or 12 minutes, just like we did with the others, and then serve them with some milk. Remember to check out the 26 other cookie recipes in the playlist, and Merry Christmas to you and your family. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you all on Friday. Bye.